Right. Just how do you sum up such a stunning defeat? It's embarrassing. The first person I've ever seen was Chris. And it's embarrassing. I just don't know where. You just talked to Coos. He said something's got to change. Do you agree? <clears throat> What do you think needs to change? A lot, but we gotta fix some things. How, how did you go? How did you go? The current brand. I'm very distinct. For the last 10 or 15 minutes, trying to figure out my words. I have no words besides embarrassing. Me. Brad, you know you guys have a really tough stretch coming up. Where do you start in terms of these next three days without the practice? Ah, we know board. Just trying to understand who we are and what we are. What, what are we trying to achieve, honestly? What, what kind of team are we trying to be? I think that's my biggest question. To, to all of us as a unit, like, who are we trying to be? Do we want to be a winning team or we don't? We got a couple of days to figure out. We got a couple of days to figure it out. That tells me this team is hot. You want to run to a few other teams in the box. So, I mean, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. I think that's the frustrating part. You know, you're trying to make these adjustments and corrections on the fly. And we got a lot of problems and shit here. You know, households you got to deal with. So, In the third and fourth, when things are clearly kind of starting to change, at least in that really good first half, is there a sense on the bench or on the players on the floor that like something, you know, we need to tighten up from the past year or what were you seeing out there? Uh, yeah, I mean, that was that was emphasized throughout the whole second half. You know, the game isn't over. We haven't done shit. We aren't that good. Quit thinking that we're this elite team. We were up 35 points tonight, lost the damn game. Brad, obviously, there's a tremendous amount of speculation of your intentions for the future, especially with the trade deadline coming up. After the recent struggle punctuated by this loss, do, do, do you start? Question whether you want to return here. Uh, I have a lot of conversations with Tommy. We're very uh, transparent with what we want to do and what my future looks like. Um, yeah. But yeah, the deadline is coming up and I'm very well aware of how we're playing and how other teams are playing and what my interests are. You know, I think I'm giving this organization an opportunity to, you know, prove that and show that. And obviously, I'm, I'm a big factor in that too. And producing them tonight without this one. Um, but I want to win, and we all know that. And it's just a matter of us doing it. You know, we got the pieces, we got the assets, we got the depth, you know, everything that we bragged about at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, now it's put it together and make it work. You know, you know speculations are going to be what they are. I can't control that. Uh, but I know what comes out of my mouth, and I know where my heart is. And, Everyone know. Superman was also saying that, like, as a collective group, you guys kind of don't figure out your roles. Do you agree with that, or how do you kind of say that? Uh, yeah, I mean, in a way. It's tough because you don't want to put guys in the box. Um, but at the same time, I think it's just understanding personally what you can contribute. You know, I think it's honestly being real. You know, what, what are you capable of doing on the floor? Whether you're, you know, you're a facilitator or a shooter, you know, you just do your job. You know, you're a defender, you're a rebounder, screen setter, you know, you slip away. Whatever it is you do, be a star on that. You know, I think, I'm not sure if we have that. Um, and it's tough, you know, because like I said, I keep I keep preaching it. Like, I've been on teams where guys are, uh, like we, we got guys fighting for survival. I get it. Like I don't, I don't fault my teammates for it. Like I, I don't feed their families. They gotta feed their families. 
We got guys trying to stay alive, guys trying to stay on the team, guys trying to avoid being traded. Because, like you said, the speculation is out there. Everybody keeps saying we're trying to, you know, push to do something. But that's tough on the team. That's tough on guys to, to accept that and go out and try to produce and go out there and try to compete with the minutes that they have. That's tough. Yeah. That is very tough. I apologize if you've been asked this. Can you describe what the last 10 minutes was like on the floor? Hmm. Uh, honestly, Chris, I feel like we won the game. I feel like I was frustrated when I had to go back in because um, I knew we were up 20. And this should have been the game where starters get their rest. Plain and simple. Right? That's, that's what type of game this should have been. And we didn't. And Coach kept saying that, you know, stay locked in, stay locked in, keep pushing. But we just, for whatever reason, we relax. Like, we could just flip on the switch and be great. We haven't proved that all year. But for whatever reason, we, we kind of we go back into this shell of thinking we can mm -hmm. we can flip on the switch and end of the third, you know, early fourth. And that's it, it kicks us in the foot every single time. Um, and tonight it did that. You know, they you give them life, they're gonna have confidence. Like there's no other way of putting that. Like we gotta be dogs. I have heart. You can't teach this stuff. All right, what's the, in my including coaching staff, what's the next step after, not just a game like this, but after the coaching staff? Yeah, this one was a lot of, this was worse than Boston. Like, Boston was a bad area, you know? Uh, uh, this one feels 10 times worse than um, But I mean, that's where, you know, we got to, Nobody's gonna feel sorry for us. You know, uh, nobody's gonna sit here and say, oh, you know, it should have been this way. Um, hell, we could think Brett should have called four, three fouls before he got shot off. We were losing that game. Because that's what happens when you after the game. That's what the game, you, you don't win, you don't get rewarded. You know, and we did that. But how do we bounce back? We're going to be seen because we're too inconsistent. I hope it's in the positive direction, in the right direction. It looked just like the replay of Canard 3. It looked like Spencer was attempting to get out. Is that, is that what was attempted? Yeah. I mean, was, Wes told me before they even inbounded the ball to foul justice. You go back, you can see me trying to foul justice plenty of times. I'm slapping his arms out and wrapped, my, wrapped around him. They didn't call it. Uh, sure enough. Luke gets the gets the handoff and Spence, I see Spence <laughs> he literally like grab his arm and foul and you know call anything and I try to get a quick one before he raises up and I feel like I got one. Takes another dribble, foul, three. So can't make it up. I can't make it sure. We don't uh, understand all the team dynamics and how the team is coming from all perspectives. We're not players. After something like this, do you as the leader get the guys together and have everyone talk or you talk? It, or is that mm. well, usually um, me personally, I, I talk after games usually. And I leave a message with the guys. And we, all, we all know we should have won the game. We all know we should have played better. So sometimes it's like it defeats the purpose of beating a dead horse, you know. But at the same time, you know, as a leader, I have to, I put myself in the forefront. Like, I don't, I never blame my teammates for the losses. I never blame my teammates for anything. Like, you, if you always hear me, it's my fault, it's my fault, it's my fault. Even if, even if I have a great game and we lose, it's my fault. You know, I always assume that responsibility. But for the most part, we, we have to understand that we aren't as good as we think we are. Um, and, me, I have to, I just continue to lead by example, continue to be vocal. I've seen this before. I've been on teams like this before. Um, and it's, it's manageable. It's easy to turn around. Like, I've been on teams where we turned around and made, good, made a big run and sure enough for top four, you know, in the East going to the finals. Like, I saw, I've seen it. I've seen it. We've had success doing it. Um, and it's possible. But if everybody's not bought in and locked in, you know, to what coach wants and what's successful and sustainable for us, then we're not going to be that team. Is there a buy-in problem particularly on the defensive end? 
Yeah, I think you can say that. I always, I always go to your defense is nothing but your will. You gotta want to defend. You gotta want to get after. It. You gotta want to keep your guy from catching. You gotta want to help your teammate. You know, that's that was a defense is control in all aspects. I think that's it then tonight, Brad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.